What's going on, guys? MMA Island team, we're back with another fight pick video. Uh, this one, we got a very good fight in the lightweight division. Francisco Masa, Masa Randuba? Is that yeah, Masa Randuba. Masa Randuba. Masa Randuba. Masa Randuba <laughs> Trinaldo taking on the 10 and 1 Jai Herbert. Uh, I'm going to start off this one, actually. Uh, and I'm going to say that, that, man, this is a very, very close fight for me. Um, I, I think we, we even expressed before recording how close of a fight this one. Yeah. How close of a fight this one is. Um, for me personally, uh, as I always tend to do, I like to lean towards the person with the, uh, with the age advantage. I guess you could say the younger fighter. Uh, Francisco has shown no signs of slowing down being 41 years old. Uh, but the thing is for me is I look at, I look at his, his stoppage ability. And if, you, if you're talking stoppage ability, you have to lean towards Jai Herbert in this one because you, yeah. look, at, you look at the, the record of, of Francisco Trinaldo. He's done it in pretty impressive fashion. I would say he was on a four-fight win streak because he did win against Alexander Hernandez, regardless of the judges agree or not. Um, you look at – he KO'd Evan Dunham, who – Evan Dunham is kind of uh, – with all due respect, he's a little vulnerable to finishes, I would say. Uh, and then you go to his, la his last uh, uh, stoppage win, it would be Paul Felder in 2016, which is definitely, uh, uh, definitely impressive. But if we're talking impress how impressive something is, I look at four straight knockout wins for uh, Jai Herbert being 32 years old, 10 and 1. Uh, he was knocked out once by uh, McKee, who's actually going to be fighting in the next fight in our fight picks video. Uh, go check that one out as well, because I'm sure it's out. But – like I said, man, your, your chin's got to crack at some time. And, and I don't necessarily think that Ronaldo is going to just get knocked out cold. Uh, but maybe I am saying that. Uh, I, I, do, I do think that, that this fight could get finished. I don't think Ronaldo looks terrible in it. I do think it's a very, very close fight because Ronaldo is a beast and he's not somebody I will ever, ever underestimate, nor should Jai Herbert. Uh, I do see the new UFC newcomer coming from Cage Warriors, as a lot of people are on this card. Uh, I, I see Jai Herbert beating Francisco Trinaldo in this one, and I do say it's by knockout, and I will go with the second-round knockout. And the UFC calculator, hold up, did I mention it? I don't think I did. Uh, the UFC calculator has this one at a 51.8% chance for Jai Herbert, so it's very, very close. All right, moving on to Slick. All right. <clears throat> It's me? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I'm I'm leaning Jai Herbert too. I just as, as Francisco hasn't looked bad by any means. Uh, I think Definitely that he's not. been he's been impressive in his recent uh, outings given his age. But I think that the the young finisher is gonna come in and get the job done. I like I like it early. I think I think he gets him out of there in the first round. Oh okay. So I'm, I might be the, I might, maybe this will be my first lone wolf tonight because I'm going with Ronaldo. Boy, actually. did I just call him young or am I tripping? He's younger. He's not young. He's younger, He's younger, yeah. Well, nine, nine, year, um, nine years, so I mean. So yeah. I look at it like this. So, you know, I, I'm all, I always talk about the level of competition and Ronaldo has fought a lot of good guys. I mean, he won his last two fights. He beat Bobby Green. Bobby Green, no slouch at all. He just came off that impressive win against uh, Clay Guida, um, and uh, even John uh, McDessey was on a three-fight win streak before uh, Trinaldo beat him. Um, Trinaldo ha had that really close fight with Alex Hernandez. A lot of people thought he won that. Um, and, you know, uh, well, I, I, I feel I could counter Michael's point about um, – you know, Jai getting, um, you know, a lot of knockouts, right? But Trinaldo's never been knocked out or TKO'd in his, in his career, actually. Yeah. Um, so that, that really stood out to me. So I think I'm going to go with uh, – I'm going to go with the vet on this one. I, I'm going to go with Trinaldo by decision. Let me add that I do feel – I do feel weird picking Jai first round finish because Francisco Trinaldo's nickname, and he has stood up to it, like so well it's masa handuba which i think that's not quite how you say it i'm not portuguese or i don't speak portuguese uh, but i it means like hard red wood like hard red tree like okay so it's he's his durability is really on another level but i i think that man the age is just gonna catch up but fucking maybe not man so it's like so i say first round finish but I do feel weird about it. 
All right, so I guess it's on to me, and I think I have finally come to a decision. I have to go with the Black Country banger. Yeah, I heard the nickname, himself. The nickname is excellent, and it's mainly because I'm thinking back to Trinaldo's recent performances. You said that he looked impressive in his last outings. I don't think so. No, he not lost. the last outing. He lost to Bobby game. Green. He, lo- he should not have gotten the victory, and – wait a second, that fight took place in Brazil. It's not like they're known for controversial hometown decisions or anything. <laughs> and wait, oh, he also had he also got outlanded and outworked by John McDessie, but wait, that fight was in Brazil too, huh? Sensing a pattern here. He should be on a two-fight, maybe probably a two-fight losing streak, but the fight with McDessie is closer than the one with Bobby Green. And okay, I think that father time has finally caught up to Francisco Trinaldo because his output has slowed down. And you can see that it's kind of been a sharp decline. Back in the day, Trinaldo, he used to like, he, he'd allow himself to get backed up, but he would throw a lot of volume. I don't think that's as much as there anymore as proven that he gets outlanded by pretty much everyone he fights nowadays. And he's coming up against a guy who is very, very good everywhere. Jai Herbert coming home, uh, coming as the Cage Warriors lightweight champion, solid power in his hands. Very underrated submission game. If this fight goes to the mat, Jai Herbert has a real chance of submitting Francisco Trinaldo. So I think just after looking at it for all this time, I think Jai Herbert has the advantages that he needs to in order to get the win over Masahanduba, Francisco Trinaldo. I think it's time. Father time has caught up to him. All right. Well, I guess we forgot to mention, we, lo- we talked about the records a little bit. Uh, we forgot to mention that there is somebody undefeated who plays a factor in this one. And that is, as Zach mentioned, Father Time. Uh, let us know if you guys agree uh, and, and let us know in the comments. Uh, let us know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see some other, other sort of prediction wise videos, uh, I'd like to see that. Uh, and, and I'd also like to see who you guys agree with on this one. We got our fourth lone wolf of the night, if I'm not mistaken, in Atticus taking, uh, taking Francisco Trinaldo to win this one. We got Jai Herbert. We don't know who you guys got. Let us know. And check out the other five picks videos. Peace.